everyone, it's Hannah and welcome back to another episode of the Corner of Craft podcast where I sit and I chat about all the things that I've been making. It's already starting to get quite toasty up here so I'm going to try and be efficient. I wanted to record yesterday but um, it rained and thunderstorms and I'm in the top of the house so rain on the windows is not ideal so I decided not to but today it's gloriously sunny but I had to wait for a parcel to be collected and blah blah. Essentially my parcel's just been collected, it's quarter to 11, it's already starting to get very warm up here, which kind of sucks because I've actually got product photography to do. Fun times. Anyway, hello. My name is Hannah, as I've already said. I am a small business owner. I own the Corner of Craft. I make small hand beaded stitch markers and I also dye yarn in colours inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. I am coming at you today for episode 96, edging ever closer to 100, um, from a... Uh, I mean, there are clouds in the sky, but it's a beautiful day. Here in Nottingham, we've been having a bit of a heat wave and um, have had some thunderstorms and glorious sunshine. And so my knitting and crochet mojo, Crojo, has been a little wibbly wobbly. Um, so I don't have as much done as I wanted to get done, but I somehow have tons of socks on the needles and a couple of hose. One finished object. Also, I took the needle out of my West Knits MCAL from last year and I need to work out how to actually frog it because I don't know how to frog this bit. It's going to be a fun time. Anyway, if you're joining for the first time, an extra special hello to you. I do have podcast notes. They are in the description box. They're on my website. Hopefully I've got time to write them because I'm heading off this weekend to uh, the south to see friends and family. Also in the description box I have links to my social media accounts. Not that Instagram's showing anyone anything anyway. But if you wanted to follow me on social media that would be absolutely delightful. And feel free to subscribe. I post a video here every week. There's bonus videos for people who want to join me on Patreon as part of the Biscuit Brew Crew. Obs no pressure. And uh, yeah, there's a monthly podcast. I'm a bit late with the podcast this month because like I say, the knitting mojo's kind of been absent. So it is what it is. Shall we get into doing some stuff? I feel like we should. We got a sock blocker. That is a good start. Finished objects. I'd, I'm, yeah. I thought I'd almost finished these. I had a bit of a disaster with these. I can't remember if I shared last time. I was... These are the bookshelf socks. I do have two of them, but I'm only showing one. And this is, is a pattern by uh, Becky Mundy, who is Becky Knits on Instagram and also has a podcast here on the YouTube. I will be sure to link appropriately. And this yarn is Spectrum Fibre in the Neverland colorway and then I just dyed up some mini skeins to go with it. I love it. It's a really fun time. I test this, I te test knit this pattern for Becky and I finished one in time and I didn't quite finish the second one because I finished one and then I was knitting the second one whilst watching Eurovision which was very exciting as I'm sure you can imagine. I love Eurovision. And I was getting, I'd turn the heel and I was getting, and then you know a, bit, a few days later I was getting down towards the toe and I was counting the ridges on whatever, whichever was my first sock and I thought how odd. I have more ridges but this is definitely not long enough for my foot. I realised that I'd knit an extra 15 rows on the leg. So instead of doing what any smart person would have done and like hacked it, grafted it, whatever, um, I just, I would think I was about here as equivalent to closeness of the toe but obviously I'd knit more uh, and I just frogged it back because I was so annoyed. Actually, no, that might have been Eurovision night. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was very annoyed that I'd been so enthused with Eurovision knitting that I had to frog back so far. But I do have two socks. They are both finished. I'm excited to, well, I can't wear them now because now they're warm, but if you hear rustling, I have a cat up here with me and she's sleeping on my mail sacks, which are on top of a bag of bubble wrap. <sighs> It's because she usually sleeps on the bag of bubble wrap, but I've put mail sacks there in a bid to stop her sleeping on the bag of bubble wrap. And now she is um, complaining. Anyway, so this is this, this beautiful. I really enjoyed this pattern. It was, it was fun. It was a fun pattern. It was an umbrella toe, which is different to the usual toe that I do on a sock. 
heel flap and gusset I'm really enjoying them at the moment even though I'll go through a phase where I hate them soon and I did a little stripe around the top which was so much fun maybe I need to start doing two mini skeins when I do sock sets so you can do fun things like this and have mismatching toe and heels I I have sock sets coming to the shop this weekend which I'll chat about in a bit um but I I've only got one mini skein so that might be on me right we're now that's it that's the only finished object I have I apologize the other work in progress that I had that I just started shortly before the last podcast I I've kind of shoved in a bag and I haven't touched for a little bit I finished the body of it, but I haven't... I'm struggling with the concept of a bottom-up jumper in my head. Like, I can't work out how it's going to work. Um, I've got three balls of this gorgeous yarn, or three skeins, I suppose I should say, of this gorgeous yarn, but I didn't want to make a crop jumper, because, well, I mean, I'm quite tall. I'm not super... I'm not, like, six foot, but I'm 5'7", which is taller than the model in Pom Pom. This is the Effervescent Jumper by Amy Sher Sher. And so I wanted to make it a bit longer because this body is only meant to be 9 inches. So I did it to about 14, I think. Which will have it sit at the top of my jeans. Maybe overlap a little bit because I knew I'd get more wear out of it. But I kind of also want to make it long sleeve. But because it's bottom up and then you knit the sleeves and then you join it all together and do the rest. I don't know if I'm going to run out of yarn. This is why I like a top down jumper. Um... But it's, yeah, now I've got it back out again. It's actually really nice. And maybe I will just knit like just below elbow length, like maybe here. I roll my sleeves up all the time anyway, so I suppose it's not the end of the world. So I could have it to just below elbow length. And then if I have loads of yarn left over when I finished it all, <clears throat> I could always pick up the stitches above the rib and then knit down. I guess that's the thing I could do. But This yarn is Eskel or the Leshy. It is by Pigment and Ply. I've got a little flame knit sheep to mark the end of my round, which is a um, glass, made from glass. I got it at um, East Anglia Yarn Festival this year because I forgot to get one last year. Or oh, by the time I went to get one, they'd all sold out. I can't remember, one of the two. And then a little, little star there by my friend Anna. And yeah, I'm pretty much finished the body. So I'm need to start the sleeves and there's just so much put it put everything on hold put this on hold blah 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 and I just think I don't have enough cables it's just going to be a faff plus now I really want to cast on an elf male so I think I just need to um keep going and keep knitting this and maybe I'll take it down when I go see my parents this week and then that will force me to actually knit it because it's so pretty I know that I'll wear it a lot. I'm just dragging my feet with it. I don't know. I'll be fine. I'm getting so distracted by the cat right now. And I can't even reach her because now she's behind the shelves. You found somewhere to snuggle down. There's so many other spots you could be right now. Ridiculous. But yes, this is in a bag that my friend Becky made for me. Different Becky from the sock pattern. Soprano knits Becky um, and yeah maybe I'll get it back out and start working on it again because I kind of need to and those are the two I think things you would have seen me be working on last time we gathered can't fully remember truth be told that's fine anyway so we're off of socks so I'll continue to be off of socks this is my contribution to the knitters and critters make along which is being hosted on instagram um the reason i haven't talked about what tea i'm having is because it's the temperature of the sun up here so shocker i am not drinking tea um yeah in which you make something knit crochet weave spin whatever using yarn pattern or if you can explain it well enough uh anything inspired by a tabletop role-playing game so i've got mine in my little dice bag and not my little dice bag but my little project bag with dice on i use it a lot and so i am making something using my 2022 chromatic yarns advent calendar which is my own advent calendar because all of my yarn is inspired by dungeons and dragons so if you've got a skein of my yarn knit a pair of socks crochet yourself a hat make some mitts whatever you can enter magic i love i love a i love a make-along where i can just sort of 
raid my stash of my own yarn. But yes, I thought I didn't use either of my two 2022 advent calendars and I've got my own for this year and then I'm doing a swap with two other people for this year. So I kind of need to get a, a head start on things. So I'm thinking in August to host um, an advent of December's past make along like I did last year because that was really good but I'll start it earlier because stupidly I started it in November so by the time December hit I wasn't done so I'm starting it in August so then I've got a bit more time I think I want to make the fade into Christmas I mean it's technically a blanket but I think I, you can wear it as a shawl as well I think I want to use that for my um Castle View Yarns Advent because I'm a bit on a crochet kick at the moment so this is the Just Feel Cozy Wrap it is a pattern by uh, Kalisha Ryan who is a uh, hostess of the Quirky Monday podcast and Nadira Tani on YouTube, Instagram, wherever and you use the minis held double which is great and it says you do three rows and then you move along but what I'm doing is I'm doing two rows solid of the colour but the row before and the row after I'm holding with the previous colour and the next colour so um, for example let's use day three for example so first of all I have a row of day two and three held together then I've got two rows of row three and then the next row is day three and four held together and then I've got two rows of day four and then I've got day four and five held together and blah blah um, I'm weaving in my ends as I go. I think I'm on day 11. I don't know. I haven't worked on it for a little bit, but I really like it because it's really quick. It's really quick. The fact I haven't worked on this for a little bit and I've got... is delightful. I really hope it blocks longer because at, I'm a little concerned. I haven't done a gauge swatch, but I never thought myself as a tight crocheter. Unless... Unless Kalisha's, a re unless Kalisha's a looser, has a looser tension than I. But hopefully it just blocks out, which I think it will, because it's like, yeah, we got a bit of stretch there. But yes, I'm being very good, and I'm not keeping all the, I'm not keeping like the little bits, although here is a little bit, but the, I, usually I hoard these little bits, and then I don't know what to do with them. So I'm being really good, and I'm not hoarding them. So hopefully I have enough. I tried to do three solid rows and then one row holding two together, but I didn't have quite enough. It was annoying. I was like this short of the row. So it's fine. But we're heading into the greens, and then we're moving on to the blues and the purples and then the reds, I think, if I remember correctly. But it's nice because I'm also discovering I didn't take any of the dice out of the bag that I had in there. So I'm also adding to my dice collection at the same time with technically not new, but new to me dice. Uh, yes. Because last year you got a set of dice in with your advent calendar. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think it's really fun. It's really easy. I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. And it's my one from Pedro's Plaques. Um, which is really pretty. And yeah, I've added a few more to the stash. If you saw my short, or my short form content where I talk about them. Um, but yeah. I like very much. Maybe I'll cake up some more of the minis because I could finish that this week very easily it's good it's a good time right keep that in there keep that in there and now we're moving on to socks because I think that's the only other thing that I have to work on what's in here oh that's a pair of socks I've not touched in a really long time oh that's where that little guy is okay good to know Good to know. They were show socks that I was knitting whilst vending and I've just not touched in a while. Anyway, so cinema knitting has been going strong. Uh, I've been going to see quite a few films so I've been needing to have socks to take with me for that. Uh, just easy basic vanilla socks so I can knit in the dark. So this is on my Monster Manual colourway and on my Yak sock base and it's a half object there's no there's not really a whole lot of point me putting it on a sock blocker but I will anyway because it's easier for me to show you but it's a sock for Mario who is my husband who has much larger feet than me um but he wears hand knit socks all the time in the winter so he's gets holes in them almost non-stop uh the beautiful pair of socks that I made for him using uh, the fiber fox has so many holes in it. I showed it on Patreon. It's absolutely ridiculous. I need to work out how to mend them. But I mean, I've got a speed weave, so it's not necessarily work them out, but it's just to work out the logistics because there's so many holes. But yeah, we've got a half object 
this is here to indicate where the heel is because I went to go see the little mermaid last week so a little bit of a spoiler for how much I got done because I haven't shared that reel yet um but yeah I think I got down to where I start the heel so this is a 72 stitch count sock on 2.5 millimeter needles and I'm doing a heel flapping gusset for them because he likes how they fit better I've got a little chicken from flame knits on these ones don't show your butt, show your tiny face. Very cute. And yeah, I'm at the point where I need to start the heel. So that's, I mean, I'll count the rows just to make sure. But um, that worked out very well. And I'm just keeping that in a little bag that I got from when I went to Estonia that I found out recently. And I must have taken it to Edinburgh Yarn Festival at some point because I have a bunch of podcaster pins on it. I mean, these two are my own. And I got Tipsy Knits, Rusty Ferret, and then Knitography. And yeah can't take them off now I couldn't can't can't bring myself to but yes that's a lovely little half object that I've got there which is going to be a lovely pair of socks for Mario essentially I think I've worked out I just could need to constantly have a pair of socks on the needles for Mario and I think I need to get some cheap sock yarn and by cheap I don't mean like bad quality I mean like commercial that's the word I wanted because actually commercial sock yarn's not always cheap either but I can't be spending 20 plus plus pounds on a skein of yarn for Mario for him to wear until there's they'll, they're holes. I mean, at least he gets his wear out of them, but I only finished them recently, so. <sighs> Small annoyance. But such is life. I'll mend, I'll mend them. He'll get them back and be able to wear them. But yeah, I think I need to um, buy some commercial sock yarn for him and then make some sock. Like, essentially, every podcast you'll see me have a sock on the needles for Mario because I can't think of another way that I'll be able to turn them out quickly enough so living in my down sheepy lane project bag you i have used the same project bags all the time i realized i've got so many dotted around um this is a sock that i was knitting whilst we went to see spider-man across the spider-verse very good film loved it it's the cadbury colorway i bought this at yarningham in 2019 we won't talk about yarningham 2019 um stuff kicked off and not with me but it kicked off and uh, yeah beautiful colorway I did think that this would be more purple seeing as it's called Cadbury but you know it is what it is it's just a 50 gram skein and I think it's 75 25 super wash merino nylon and then this mini doesn't actually go that that well with the yellow but it's the closest I had um was sent to me when I discovered I had a hole in one of my tops and that I'd knit and this matched perfectly and I mended the top recently and have worn it so much since annoyingly it is not size inclusive and the designer does not make sizes to fit up to a 60 inch bust therefore whilst I love the shape I wear it all the time it goes beautifully over my dress it's a staple I can't knit another one and it's really frustrating but um I mean I could knit another one I just can't show you that I've knit it because essentially this podcast is free promotion so if I'm showing you something I'm kind of endorsing it even if I'm not being I'm not being paid for it by any of these people obviously I'm choosing to knit these things and work with this yarn and I'm buying all of this and apart from the odd project bag that I get given but um and plus if I am sponsored I'm very open and I tell you but if I'm knitting a pattern I'm essentially endorsing it and being like blah 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 this, this is great but I can't if not everyone can knit it because it's not size inclusive. Anyway, this is the sock. That's how much I got knit during Spider-Man. And I'm likely going to do an afterthought heel because I've probably already knit past the leg. So I'll do an afterthought heel, which will be lovely. I like an afterthought. I do Kirby Werbies. I like an afterthought heel on a self-striping sock. Because then you don't break up the stripes. Because sometimes you do a heel flapping gusset, the stripes go a bit weird because all of a sudden the sock's wider for a while. So the stripes are di get different and yeah. I don't like that for myself, but Fab Funky Fibers. Are they still around? I don't know. I've not really seen anything from them in a while, but that doesn't mean anything because Instagram doesn't show my stuff to anyone and I don't see anyone's stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, it's not a brag because it doesn't mean anything anymore. I've got almost 16,000 followers on Instagram and my posts get seen by maximum 3,000, maybe three and a half on a good day. It's very frustrating. Anyway, and then the final project I have to share with you 
is living in my the fiber fox but oh i found my fiber fox pin where did i put it age-old question isn't it i found it you know the one that was on this bag that i said that i'd lost i found it should i put it in one of these pockets probably how unsafe of me that's the one that i'd lost off of this project bag it's so cute um but i replaced it with my probably not a mimic pin but i could swap it back but i don't know i found it randomly downstairs in the living room so i'm not quite sure how that happened but here we are i'll pop that pop that in this little trinket dish and then i'll sort it out after i've finished filming so you may have seen on instagram or you may not have seen because once like i said instagram's not showing my stuff to anyone uh i am taking part in a collaboration with a bunch of other indie other indie dyers um go please go to see on instagram if if you have it um i tag them all and it's like a movie night theme of um like colorways and this this month's theme it's not going to be monthly i think we worked out quarterly this theme was cozy night in and so i was still trying to stick with the D, &D theme so went with stardust kind of fantasy not so much D, &D but kind of fantasy um, in future films I might just go off at the deep end and just have a good time and die whatever and have this as just like a side project because um, I found it quite annoying to be pigeonholed in all fairness but it's it's coming out on Saturday tomorrow for you at uh, 4pm BST I'm going to have um, 20 well technically 23 because I stole this game for myself available uh, on their sock sets it's going to be Sturdy Sock, which is BFL Nylon 7525. Sparkle Sock, which is Merino Nylon Lurex, which is 75% Merino, Suporte Merino, 20% Nylon and 5% Lurex. And then my Merino Sock, which is 85% Suporte Merino, 15% Nylon. And then I'm also going to put them up on pre-order for the sock sets, but also on a bunch of other bases, just in case you fancy making a jumper or something out of it. Um, because otherwise, what I found with the pie yarn, because I kept just going for myself, with the pie yarn, what I found is people were buying multiple skeins to make themselves jumpers, and I should have written the pattern down, I should have written the recipe down, so I could have then, people could have placed orders, blah, 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 but I didn't because it was exactly Young Festival and it was all a bit rushed and I was just a bit rushed. But, um, yes, so it was, my mine is inspired by Stardust, the film Stardust, I rewatched it yesterday, it was so good, so good. Uh, I needed to come up with a quote. Oh, here's another one of my crochet hooks. Beautiful. Anyway, so, yes, no, Monday, today is Wednesday. Monday, I decided I was going to the hairdressers. My hair has been cut and re-dyed red, but you can't really tell because um, I up the exposure of my stuff quite a lot because <laughs> I really like how it looks. Uh, so, and plus my hair colour hadn't really faded that, that much, but it had a, it had a cut and a whatever. Uh, I cast on a sock to take with me on Monday, and mainly because I thought if I just had get a bit done, then I can use it in a photo, use it in the photo, so you can see what it looks like. And then I realised, then I went out Monday evening, went out for a pizza night with some friends, and Mario came too. And then, um, well, they're mainly his friends, truth be told. And I'm just kind of hitchhiking because that's what how I make friends now. And uh, yeah, we ended up going to the pub, and I had. A fair amount of cider and we were sat chatting for a while so I successfully knit the heel turn the heel and knit some of the foot finished all my decreases whilst at the pub um, four ciders in so feel a bit chuffed by that and then finished it yesterday well finished it this morning technically and knit and crocheted a sample so I would say very productive this is my half object um, yes if you're on Patreon, you would have already seen this. I had a discussion about how I wasn't sure if I liked it for a bit, and but actually I do really like it. I like how it's knitting up. I think this is really pretty on the bottom of the foot as well, just so you can see it straight. This is technically the blueberry waffle sock pattern, but I didn't follow the sock pattern. I It's 64 stitches, a 2.25 millimeter needle, knit two rows, knit two purl two for two rows, or two by two rib. I did one by one, knit one purl one, for 18 rows around the top, heel flap and gusset, and my standard wedge toe. And yeah, I really like this. I knit this on my merino sock base, even though I always say, I'm never gonna knit merino socks again, but it's just so squishy, can't help it. Oh gosh, 
I can't help it. But I knit from the other end of the ball because I pull from the middle um, as much as I can. So from the outside, I've got hair trimmings in it because I took the bag to the hairdressers and was knitting it the whole time she was cutting my hair. So I took from the outside to get my two uh, sample squares in. Also, this has shown me why I don't knit and crochet samples for all of my colourways, because this took me such a long time to do. It's not just a quick little thing. And then also, what am I doing with this square now? It's just here. But I suppose what I could do is, every time I make a sample, just make them all the same length and then sew them together. But who's got the time? Uh, so this is the knit square. And obviously, because I took it from a different section, this is much more speckled than this is. But they are from the same ball, I promise. This is also why I don't particularly like uh, samples. But I also get that people want an idea of how they look. And then this is my crochet sample. Oh, I blocked them this morning. I feel very proud. The sun was beautiful. So I was like, quick, get them outside blocking. Um, this is just uh, double crochet or US single crochet. So what it is, is a pale yellow base, and then it's got some yellow speckles, a couple of oranges, a bit of dark blue, a bit of uh, lighter blue. And I think that's it, in, in speckly form. And yeah, I rewatched the film yesterday, and I was thinking I should have done it a lot like moodier and darker, but actually I really like this colourway. I think it's really good and really fun, and shows like um, the lightness of it, as opposed to like the darkness of it plus I thought this would be nicer for maybe a summery autumnal colorway so here is that sturdy sock here it is on sturdy sock I haven't actually finished I haven't labeled them yet but need to go out and buy some popcorn so I can uh, take photos on sparkle And then on, oh, there's a bit of fluff on that bit. A merino sock. And I love it so much. I wasn't, it's much more yellow in person than it seems to be showing up on camera. My camera blows it out quite a lot, but oh, I just think it's so pretty. Oh, and in ball form, if you also want to see um, the ball of it. If that helps at all, I don't know if it does. But I really, really like it. I think it's really fun. I really wish snowdrops were still in season so I could use that in my photos. But here we are. They're not. And, yeah, I just think it's a very fun... Um, very fun colourway. Very different to what I usually dye. Usually I'm much more cool toned. Heavy on the pur... Well, I mean... Heavy on the purples, the greys, the blues, the turquoise. Hi, little one. You coming over here? If you're coming over here, you're paying the cat tax. If you get close enough. I'm not getting up to get you because you'll just run off. I know what you're like. Um, but yeah, it's very different to the usual colourways that I dye. And I think that's why I wasn't sure about it at first. But actually seeing it knit up, I do really, really like it. So yeah. That is going to be going in the shop on Saturday at 4pm UK time. BST. And uh, annoyingly, I'm not going to be home because I'm going to be at my parents. I did, I, when this was all arranged, I wasn't going to be down there, but you know, it is how it is, and that that's fine. I'll make it. I will make it work. I'll get the pre-order up at the same time as putting the sock sets up, so you can do whichever one you prefer, and then I'll try and have quite a quick turnaround for the pre-orders. I probably won't have it open endlessly. Oh, and this colorway is called. Wait, you're the star, um, because. She's, she was the fallen star. Spoilers. I mean, it's not spoilers. It came out in 2007. Come on. Much recommend. If you've not seen it, I really do recommend it. And uh, yeah, I really, really, I'm really, really proud of this colorway after all that. So yeah, there's some very dainty looking speckles in there. So nailed it. In regards to other shop news, thank you so, so much to everyone who bought an advent calendar from me. It seems like a lifetime ago now that that happened. But, um, they all sold out. The daily advent sold out in at uh, two hours. Well, my initial number had sold out in 10 minutes. And so then I had to add 30 more. And so 
um, yes, I've currently finished dyeing up uh, four of the colourways for the daily advent. I'm trying to get the daily advent done. The goal was by the end of July, but I don't think that's going to happen. But the goal is to, is to get them done because uh, I want to fit the weekly advents in with it. So I need to like space it out and see where they fit and pick and choose colours and blah, blah, blah. But thank you so, so much to everyone who bought one. I am getting them done because I need to. And it's a massive scary undertaking and do I'm, I'm dying up 128. If you're sad that you missed out, I am dying extras. It is only because I had four go missing last year and then had to send out all the extras. So I do have extras. Um, and Royal Mail's compensation for the lost ones. Don't, don't think, oh, it's fine, you were able, she was able to claim it, blah, blah, blah. Four lost advents. So that's 100 no that's 60 pounds worth 600 pounds worth of lost stock uh and lost money because i then had to send out the other events um i got eight books of first class stamps that's it and a book of stamps is eight stamps i think or 12. anyway it was nowhere near 600 pounds worth of compensation luckily thank god they turned up and I got them returned to me um, and then I was able to sell them on so you know free stamps but if they hadn't I would have lost 600 pounds and I was very annoyed but because I'm the seller I wouldn't have got the full whack which I think is ridiculous anyway so yes I will be having some extras and so once they've all been shipped out and they've arrived I will put up the extras for sale. Um, so if you're sad that you missed out, I sincerely apologise. But they went quicker than I'd anticipated. So it is what it is. Can't do a whole lot about it now. Also, I am slowly working towards a new shop, a next shop update for a couple of reasons. One of them being I have a tax bill that um, I need to pay by January, which is a long way away, but like it's a really expensive tax bill. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to sell some stuff. Um, so that shop update will be happening in July at some point and then yeah just working on advent stuff and doing bits and whatnot and I need to keep this on the sock blocker because I need to take photos of this yarn before the sun comes in and I need to go buy popcorn now that parcel's been collected. Anyway life stuff what's been happening not heaps went to a wedding this past weekend that was nice been going to the cinema every wednesday that's been a good time went hanging out with friends D, D is still going strong my character still lives so that is nice i really i'm not still not quite like bonded with her i don't know oh i met up with um cat weaver and sarah and monica who are cat's friends uh, sarah and monica were visiting from Ca uh, canada and we went to warhammer world which was so much fun and then we played D&D, &D. we had a, not in Warhammer World, we went to a board game workshop and played D&D. &D. Um, I played a Wild Magic Barbarian and I think if my character, or if uh, I choose to retire her, I'm going to be a Wild Magic Barbarian next because it was so much fun, so much fun. So, yes. And then... I don't know, I feel like I did quite a lot in quite a short space of time and then got really tired and then um, I can't remember what any of it was. I, I, I've kind of been a bit off the social media game for a couple of reasons, one of them being that I'm doing a lot of stuff like behind the scenes which sounds really cheesy and like, oh you don't know what I'm doing. But like this was a mystery colourway, I couldn't show you it until Wednesday. This I knit and couldn't show you it until Wednesday because it was out of the mystery colourway. Um, the Knit Carol Yarn Club I dyed and shipped out and it's one of my favourite colourways that I've ever dyed but I can't show you yet because not everyone's received it but I'll probably share it next week and I need to actually pick who's going to be next who I dye. Hmm, I'll have a think. And then advent yarn and I can't share that with you because it's a mystery so I just feel like I have nothing to post on social media at the moment not that it matters anyway because none of my stuff's getting shared but then none of my stuff's getting shared because I'm not sharing anything so I'm getting pushed further down 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 and um yeah <laughs> I don't know I'm getting really I'm just getting a bit 
mm, frustrated with Instagram. I need to start posting on TikTok more, but then I can never think of anything to say, so. Anyway, I went heavy on the blue makeup today. I don't know why. I feel like I look like my mum from her 21st birthday photos back in the 70s, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Don't think I have anything else to share with you. I don't think I've got any... I don't think I've got any new stash to share with you. I did buy a new crochet hook, but I wasn't overly pleased with the customer service, so I don't need to share, show that off. And not buy Pedro's plaques. This was a different different maker that I thought, I really like the crochet hook. I'll tell, I'll tell you the brief story, but I won't tell you who it is. I ordered this crochet hook and I really, really liked it. And it said that it was going to take X amount of weeks to be um, shipped. And I ordered it off of Etsy, so, so that might that might be the issue is because I don't know how Etsy works anymore but I think it said it was going to be shipped within four weeks um two days after it said that it was due to ship I got a shipping notification through so I think that was the 6th of June and then I didn't receive it didn't receive it didn't receive it <laughs> on the 14th of June they're UK based on the 14th of June I reached out to them and said hi I ordered this crochet hook from you but and it says that it's been dispatched but nothing's turned up yet um just wanted to check in see if you've actually posted it or whatnot because I figured that Etsy punishes people that go beyond a certain amount of time for shipping and I didn't want to like make it a big deal they just said oh it definitely should have got to you by now I do actually have a spare one here so let me know if it doesn't arrive did it arrive today because she messaged back to the next day and I messaged back saying we can give it another couple of days that's not a problem but no it hasn't arrived yet and then on the 16th it arrived now Usually I'd be like, oh, what a coink dink. Uh, good job I didn't ask her to send a replacement one because that would be really annoying, blah, blah, blah. But she created the postage stamp, uh, the postage label on click and drop. And it said post by the 22nd of June. And now they give you a, f well, since pandemic times, they give you a full week to ship it. So that shipping label was created on the 15th, which was the day after that I complained. And if she'd have just said, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I thought that I'd sent it, um, but it got caught up in something else, I'll send it tomorrow, I would have been absolutely fine, but, um, because I get it, like, she could have packed it, put the postage label on it, and then put it off to the side, or it got caught under something, or whatever, like, I get, I completely understand that that's a completely valid thing, but she didn't say that, she said that she posted it, and it should have got to me by then, and then lied and shipped it the next day anyway, like, <laughs> so... I'm going to stick with Pedro's plaques for a while because, um, yeah, I like, I like her hooks. So I might order another four and a half millile uh, millimeter from there instead for, or I just suppose I could use one of my other ones for photos and just keep it out. But yeah, I'll still use it obviously, but I'm just disappointed because I, I don't know, I'm a small business owner myself. So I pride myself in my honesty and I'm terrible sometimes I just I forget things like I can I get it I've accidentally gone over a week without shipping something before because it's got caught up in other stuff and I've just completely forgotten and not checked or it's just been sat there but because I've not had an update and I'm not used to having stuff in stock that I'm just I forget to send stuff sometimes and I'm terrible but I'm always very open and very honest about that because it's like I'm human Hope you're human, hopefully you understand, hopefully you get that. And yeah, it was just I'm just a bit disappointed. So I will not be purchasing another hook from them. But I also don't want to like slander them across the internet because that's not not like the technical legal terms, but you know what I mean. Um Yes. I don't need to don't need to talk about them. Oh, excuse me. Don't don't need to talk about their business. So anyway, I'm gonna poot off because I need to edit this because uh, I'm heading off tomorrow so I actually need to get this done so thank you so so much for being here thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a comment down below let me know something nice that you've been doing recently have you seen anyone's yarn who's doing this movie collab that you really really like that you want to purchase um are, are you taking part in the knitters and critters make along have you made the effervescent jumper you know, all this, it's just it's the standard questions, really, isn't it? It's just the standard questions. Do you knit socks? <laughs> anyway, thank you so, so much for watching, everyone. Um, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. 
helps to get my video out there a little bit more have more people join the party if you want to subscribe on patreon you don't have to but that would be delightful next week's video is going to be late because i am away this weekend so it'll be coming up tuesday or wednesday apologies it's unless i manage to record something tomorrow but i don't want to make a promise that i can't guarantee to keep and uh because usually i try to post on a monday on patreon and then on a friday on the main channel and so it's you get bookend for the week but um sometimes it doesn't always work out that way and uh yeah subscribe if you want to that'd be nice once again no pressure zero pressure and with all that being said i'm gonna go before i roast i need to go buy popcorn so i can photograph some yarn thank you for being here everyone i hope you have a lovely weekend and week and I will see you very soon for my next video next week. I'm not quite sure what it will be about, but fun times. Bye!